Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into a list of seven bourbons that you need to buy now. But before we get into this, as always, please do me that favor, like, comment, and subscribe. That helps us out a ton, and we seriously appreciate the support. But let's get into today's video. So again, bringing up a list of seven bourbons that you need to buy now. What's the criteria of this? Honestly, this list is me just kind of brainstorming what are a few bourbons that I have in my collection that if I run up on a new bottle of it, I'm almost always gonna buy it. Obviously, there are additions to this list that I'm not gonna be bringing up, but these are basically bourbons that if I run up on one of these bottles, I'm freaking buying it. So you're not gonna see things like rare breed or you know old forester hunch proof so on and so forth here like not the consistent hitters that are easy to find these are the ones that are going to be a little bit harder to find and to get the fire started on this one i'm bringing out an absolute freaking hitter which unfortunately is now part of this list because it wasn't for me like six months ago but Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. This is my last of the 750s I had back stocked. That's why it's a little high still because I'm, I'm kind of, you know, we're, I'm going easy on it because again, these have gotten harder to find. I don't want to say impossible, but I haven't seen one for about six months. I know this is an available product. I know it's going to come back, but I haven't seen it a lot. So nowadays, if I run up on one, and even honestly before that, just because these are such a consistent, phenomenal, high proof hitter, I almost always buy one if I run up on one, especially if I run up on the 375s. I have a 375 uh, back there in storage right now. Um, and I just constantly buy those every time I run into one just because they're all a little different because they're single barrels, barrel proofs. They're great value, 35 bucks for a 375, about 74, uh, 750, like incredible value. And because of that, no matter what, if I run up on one of those bottles, I am freaking taking that home if I have the money to do so. And after that one, Doc Swinson's single barrel picks. These are just MGP, so you can interchange this with any, whatever your preferred MGP picker is. To me, these Doc Swinson's MGP picks are some of my favorite. I've had three so far, and each one of them I freaking loved, and I instantly buy them because they're always like a relatively great price around that $50 to $60 range. Really good five to six year old MGP single barrels, so really, really great single barrel bourbons from MGP or well MGP juice from Doc Swinson's they pick really really good barrels and I really like literally every single pick I've had I've had three I like those if I see another pick I'm buying it I even if I don't have the ability to try it I'm buying those because those are some of the best MGP single barrels I'm finding nowadays for the money for the money I'll asterisk that because there are some really great MGP single barrels out there, but you're starting to see them around 80, 90, almost 100 for five, six year old MGP, which is just asinine when Doc Swinson's is releasing great single barrels at that $50, $60 range still. And the next one on this list is on this list, not only because of the rarity, but because all the question marks for its future. And that is Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. If you see one of these, buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Because, I mean, at least for under 100 bucks, it's almost an instant buy for me no matter what nowadays. Just because all of them are absolutely fantastic. But also, recently, they've moved away from needing the age statement. So these used to be 12-year-old Elijah Craig barrel proofs. Now, it's a variable age statement. So there are some question marks to how the quality of the product will be here in the future. So especially if you find an older one, just like this one that has that 12 year old age statement, I think it's an instant buy no matter what. And then taking a weird turn that probably you didn't really expect, but I buy these when I find them because these are oddly really hard to find, at least in my area. Jim Beam single barrels. I know, I know, I know, Jim Beam. I think I'm one of the few people who absolutely love these things. These are like cheaper Knob Creek picks. These are like cheaper 
Knob Creek nine-year-old single barrels. Maybe not picks, but Knob Creek nine-year-old single barrels. These are kind of like budget versions of these. These are $35, 108 proof Jim Beam single barrels. And I think it's freaking phenomenal. It has that proof to bring a lot of flavor, really nice sweetness. Like this is, if you like that Beam product, this is a step up of the old granddad 114, not quite to the Knob Creek, but it, it's getting close, especially for the price point. These are insane values and unfortunately they're a little harder to find and up next one that's a super new bottle for me chattanooga 111 bourbon this one i've had for about two months now and i honestly haven't even really reviewed it i haven't really like nerded out with it it's just freaking good like i just enjoy drinking it it's like 40 i got it in georgia for 43 dollars or something like that 111 proof bourbon not the oldest, not the most complex, but for like a, just like down the middle, really good sipper. This is really, really good. I like their mash bill. I know they put a little bit of extra malt in their mash bill. And I really, really like that. A little bit more earthier, nuttier type flavors than your average bourbon out there. But man, oh man, I really like that. And that is a fantastic bottle for the price point that not a lot of people talk about. And after that one, another one that unfortunately... I don't really see a lot in my area and I can't wait to see them again because I polished off like three of these SOBs and this was the last one of the four I bought. And Wilderness Trail, Cash Strength, Curation, Reserve, Family Reserve, whatever this stuff is called. So this is the gray black label version of it. So it's the Ride Mash Bill, but this is a four-year-old Family Reserve Curation 2022. I don't know, my Costco had it. That's the only time, only place I've ever seen them. But these were some of my favorite whiskeys from last year for like, I think these were $49.99 at Costco. And I know obviously Costco is a little bit cheaper. So I'd expect to pay like probably 60 bucks for these at like a normal actual like Total Wines or whatever the hell. Um, but that being said, these were fantastic. 110 proof wilderness trail, man. I need to start finding these in my local area because I am really enjoying the heck out of these and I cannot wait to find a 2023 curation because again, like I said, those were some of my favorite go-to bourbons of last year. And last but not least, we're going to Texas. I know not a lot of people love Texas, but just go with me on this. I'll run through this one quicker. Grayson's Texas Blended Bourbon. This one is a weird fun texas whiskey this is like an 119.4 proof version of a bunch of different blended i know iron roots in this i know balconis is in this i don't know who else had a hand in this or who other spirits are in this but basically this is a bunch of texas bourbons blended together by the people over at iron root and this has been probably my favorite texas bourbon i've had so far this or Grayson, or um, not Grayson, um, Balmorea by Garrison Bros. This or Balmorea are probably my two favorite Texas bourbons I've had as of yet. I just really like that because that's very much so a Texas bourbon made by Texans for Texans. It's just, it's super down the line of Texas bourbon done right. And I know that's not for everyone, but for those of you who do like it, that's an instant buy if you can ever find it. Or, I mean, Balmorea if Balmorea was like half the price, but that's neither here nor there. That being said, that is a wrap for today's video. Please do me that favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you thought about today's video as well as um, what would some of the bottles that are an instant buy for you. Like I said, I have probably quite a few more and probably quite a few more outside of just bourbon that I will instantly buy as long as I have the money. So let me know down below, what are yours? Also check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. Links for all that stuff are down there below as well. That is a wrap for today's video. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.